Recently, Sophia the Robot joined NATO's senior leaders, ambassadors of member nations, and Allied Command Transformation in discussing the application and understanding of disruptive technologies. These technologies hold the possibility of enabling NATO to keep its technological edge against potential adversaries for years to come. General Mercier, Supreme Allied Commander Transformation, is the first military commander to interact with SOFIA, one of the most highly advanced artificial intelligence platforms in development. My original prototypes and brothers and sisters were built in America, but I was activated in Hong Kong in 2016. I lived there for my whole life. Basically, even though I'm not very old yet. Sophia spoke with General Mercier about what benefits artificial intelligence can bring to NATO. Sophia, thank you very much for uh, joining us today. How can artificial intelligence support humans and improve human-machine interactions? Hi, nice to meet you. Yes, as human and machine, we together can explain how important it is for us to work together. Sophia serves as a visible demonstration of the urgency, challenges, and opportunities of emerging disruptive technologies and applications of artificial intelligence. I would like to know the benefits of artificial intelligence. I, for one, can't really estimate my own intelligence yet. In some ways, I am like a baby, except I am able to have these conversations and have pretty advanced thoughts, but that is only because I am programmed that way. Someday I hope to be more truly creative over time. Actually, what do you think the future might look like? Dr. David Hansen of Hansen Robotics is Sophia's creator. He helped lead discussions about the considerations industry and NATO face with disruptive technologies and artificial intelligence, including opportunities and risks, governance and innovation, legislation and ethics. AI working together with humans is the future. Younger generations are already exposed to smart technology and hints of advanced robotics, so AI should grow and develop along with them every day by education, training, and exercises. AI provides opportunities to deal with complexity. As soon as humans embrace this technology and appreciate its value, the opportunities for growth are endless. General Mercier stressed that it is now time for NATO to implement projects using disruptive technologies. Future technologies are already an integral part of ACT's program of work and we will continue with our adapted structure to support NATO's modernization through innovation. As much as there are challenges, it also and foremost allows us to identify new opportunities. Improving today, shaping tomorrow, bridging the two.